Good Monday, neighbors, neighborettes, friends, acquaintances, distant relatives. This is, uh, well, there's a lot of topics I could go through, <laughs> give my opinion on. But we've gone full beard, neck beard and all. Growing a mustache out like this is uh, <laughs> a challenge. So what's we gonna talk about now? My radiation reading friends, Geiger counter friends out there that have done this, and please pass a reminder along to those that use these. Given the current environment, you've probably put your meters up. It might have been months or years since you had a need to drag them out. But what we need to know is baseline information. What is today? Because changes from today are changes that can be talked about with data and statistics, right? But you have to keep in mind with your meters, there is ways to apply them so that the readings have meanings. Repetitive, consistent sample taking. If you did it this way five years ago, do it this way again. You can find folks taking, most of this is YouTube stuff, or I'm sorry, uh, Facebook stuff, and it's old now, it's dated. Folks have calmed down after Fukushima or gone on to other things. Worthy things, I hope. Anyway, your Geiger counters. Please get them out. Post on your friends' sites to just grab today's numbers, maybe tomorrow's numbers. Grab three days worth of numbers because there's a technique called period averaging for these data sets that almost has to be applied. It helps prove the statistics. Long sample times, a record somewhere. This time if something happens, we may be able to speak to it, evaluate it. We know that detecting alpha discriminating alpha, beta, and gamma can take specific tests, specific techniques with your meter. Refresh yourself on those. It's as simple as a piece of aluminum foil wrapped around your meter and see how much that changes the readings. A piece of plastic wrapped around your whole meeting, meter. But again, you have to take long sample periods you have to use this technique called period averaging. It's in the nature of how the instrument works and worthy of a four hour se seminar on statistical sampling methods. So, keep it in mind. I will take a set of readings and just post it here. This is the only place I play, but it's public domain. If I get a large data set, this is a challenge, displaying these data sets. Another story, another long video on technology and what it takes to put together a map, like the SafeCast map to display something. Now, SafeCast is a tough one. It's not sensitive enough for my tastes, but it is a consistent, reliable, set of readings. It's a developed into it what is now a normal, but at some point is a T-normal over time, a temporary normal. A T-norm can last a day, a week, an hour, a month, a year, generations. Generations, this is really what we're talking about. So fire up your meters, charge them up, take a look. Mine's down in the basement. I know I've got a bunch of records on it spread out over time. And I stash it in other places just in case, because if I can find statistical meaning, I can present statistical meaning and speak to it. That's kind of been the plan all along. So, peace is out. Charge your meter up. Take a few readings. Get comfortable with touching it again. They do not hurt or harm you. <laughs> Unless you take the cover off and play with it. Which is different videos. Anyway, pieces out. Do a bit of metering.
find out what today's normal is, so tomorrow we may have something to speak about. Statistical significance according to protective action guidelines is three times background. And that's basically the readings you take and have been taking using these meters, our background meters, depending on the method you're using, but just setting the meter out in the environment is a background reading. It is a temporary normal reading until you prove statistically it is just a normal reading. Some calculus in this stuff, beyond calculus. Peace is out. Hippies were right, they had a point quite a few of them.